Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss about basic equations and how to solve it. Okay, let's see example one. So we want to know what happens if we plug in x equal four. If we plug in x equal four to the left hand side, we have four cubed minus two times four squared. 4 cubed is 64, 4 squared is 16, so 2 times 16, and we can simplify this into 64 minus 32, which is equal to 32. So as we can see from this computation, we see that when we plug in x equal 4, we get 32. That means that when we plug in x equal 4, this statement becomes a true statement. And therefore, we call x equal 4 as a solution of this equation. So thus, x equals 4 is a solution. of the star equation. So let me repeat again. So a solution to the equation is a nothing but a substitution of x by a number such that we get a true statement. Next example. Is x equal 2 and or x equal 4 are solutions of the equation given below. Okay, let's check. Let's plug in x equal 2 and figure it out whether we get a true statement or a false statement. Okay, plug in x equal 2 to the left hand side, we have 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 2 and the right hand side will equals to 4 times 2 is 8. Okay, let me do it. 4 times 2 minus 6 plus 2. Okay, we can simplify from the inside first. From the expression inside the parentheses. So 2 minus... 3 minus 2 is 1. 4 times 2 is 8. 6 plus 2 is 8. This is 1 and that's also 1. So the left hand side is equal to 0 and the right hand side is also equal to 0. So when we plug in x equal 2, we at the end we see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side which is a true statement. Therefore we conclude that x equal 2 is a solution. Thus x equal 2 is a solution. How about x equal 4? Okay, let's check it again. 1 minus, so plug in x equal 4, 2 minus, 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So 2 minus negative 1 equals, plug in x equal 4 there, we have 16 plug in x equal 4 there, we have 6 plus 4 is 10, so 16 minus 10. Okay, let's simplify more. 2 minus negative 1 is nothing but 2 plus 1. 16 minus 10 is 6. Of course, 1 minus 3 is not equal to 6, because 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And this is a false statement. Therefore, x equal 4 is not the solution of this equation. It's not a solution. Next example. Okay, now as we can see 
from the previous example, we can try to plug in certain value of numbers to check whether it is a solution or not. So checking x equal 2, it is a solution. Checking x equal 4, is, it is also a solution. But we cannot find all the solutions by guessing like this. We need to find a certain specific method that is efficient to find all the solutions to an equation. Okay. So the tool to do that is to transform an equation into an equivalent into an equivalent equation. So we have the following if a equals b then by adding the same number to both sides say c we retain the, equ the equality this notation means equivalent which means that the solution of this equation is the same thing as the solution of this equation okay. and also if you multiply both sides by a non-negative number we have another equivalent statement okay so these two are the only tools that we have at the moment to solve equation so we can add both sides by the same number we can also multiply both sides of the equation by the same non-zero number Okay, now let us look at our problem here. We want to solve this equation. To solve an equation means we want to find the value of t such that this statement become a true statement. So finding t is the same thing as we want to isolate t on one side of the equation. Okay. So because we want to isolate t in one side of the equation, in particular, we don't want to have this, for example, negative 13. So how to get rid of this negative 13? We can use this property. We can add both sides by a certain number such that after we add with this number, we can eliminate negative 13. And the obvious way is to add 13 to both sides okay so after we add 13 this plus 13 and negative 13 will cancel each other so this will be gone so then we have a new equation 5t equals 12 minus 5t plus 13 okay let me go back here to the original equation Instead of writing like this, which is sometime will make our note look difficult to read, then we can get the same result by using the following convention. So the convention that we use is that whenever we have a number and we move to the other side, then the sign of that number changing okay so here we we want remember that we don't want